Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon here. Uh, it's time for another vlog. You know, just quick updates. I've got the reviews going. I'm going to try to keep it like five a week. Maybe drop it down to three, uh, depending on time constraints and stuff. You know, see what happens. Uh, but uh, yeah, things are starting to go pretty good. So at least as far as the channel goes. Um, going to try to keep these updates coming on a weekly basis if I can, and see if I can talk about s some things here and there, and you know what comes out, what news is here, uh, that kind of stuff, just reactions and stuff. Um, so I guess this time it's going to be uh, talking about um, Voltron Legendary Defender. Uh, came out earlier this month. I got a chance to watch the season. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be spoiler heavy, so if you don't want any spoilers, I guess stop now. But, um, yeah, I liked it. I really liked it. I was always a fan of Voltron, and when I was a kid, it was my favorite show, so this is very special to me. Um, there are a lot of constants and variables in this one, I guess from if you want played Bioshock Infinite, you'd know that what that means. But um, yeah, I actually like how it's its own thing. It's not uh, just trying to rehash everything that was in the original Voltron series, which is pretty good. Um, you know, some things are pretty good. Some things got kind of put me off, but um, yeah, we'll go through it. Um, the opening sequence, like the first hour and a half, which was considered an episode in itself, uh, I guess, but um, that was actually pretty good. I like how it's uh, kind of keeping its feet more on the ground with um, Earth's interaction with aliens, saying that this is the first time that um, humanity has actually run into aliens and it it's kind of secretive, but, um, you know, that's pretty cool. Kind of like how it, these, uh, five cadets are, well, four cadets and a captain are kind of cut off from the rest of the world as they go into outer space on a lion. And, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, You know, characters, I think that um, they did it pretty well. I mean, you know, Lance feels like Lance, uh, even though they've had a bit of a flirt to him, but uh, that's okay. Um, you know, Keith, um, well, I'm a little surprised he's not actually the leader of the team now, but uh, he still feels like Keith. Uh, Maybe a little wilder, uh, but he's younger, so that works. Um, you know, Shiro, Shiro, um, he's definitely the most interesting. Um, you know, not just how they went with the uh, Japanese name instead of calling him Sven this time, but, um, you know, he seems to be getting a lot of development, uh, saying he's the first one to encounter the Galra now was the jewels in the original series, but uh, yeah, um, it's, it's definitely interesting how he kind of develops through that, and his relationships with the other teammates kind of uh, comes from that too. But you can tell he's the more experienced of the bunch. He's definitely the one who cares the most about everybody else, but, um, you know, it's nice how the relationships seem to develop as friends and all, so that's good. Now, <laughs> Pidge being a girl, that's, that's not actually as off-putting as one might think it is. I mean, Back in when I was a kid and watching the original Voltron cartoon shows, there were times where 
I thought Pidge was a girl in that series. I mean, he was a guy in that one, but, um, you know. Why is this blurring out? Okay, you know, my camera's autofocus seems to be going a little odd on me. But, um, yeah, I mean... You know, Pidge being a girl isn't quite the off-putting experience that you might think it is. And, yeah, it works. I mean, it gives the character a lot of good motivation, a lot to develop on. You know, trying to find her brother and her father. And I hope that one day develops into a Vehicle Voltron remake as well. Not likely, but, you know... It'd be nice if they went all out for this. But um, then we get to the more off-putting member of the group, and that's Hunk. And he's the more cautious type now, which really just doesn't feel like Hunk. I mean, you know, he was almost as hot-headed as Lance uh, sometimes in the original series. Um, you know, but I mean, Voltron Force had him more as the uh, party guy, but uh, still, you know, he was very hardy, very um, forward going, not really uh, the cautious type. And that new spin on this one is really off. I mean, you know, he just seems uh, the most strange. I mean, I don't hate the character. I still think it's well delivered. Um, balances out the team quite a bit, but, you know, I think anybody who's uh, new to Voltron entirely will like him, but it's a little off-putting for me. Okay. And, you know, another one that's a little more off-putting is Koran. Um, he's definitely a lot more eccentric than he used to be. And that actually uh, makes me like him more and a little less at the same time. Because, you know, I like the crazy characters. <laughs> and he's definitely um, out there. I mean, you know, there are times where he's definitely, you can tell he's got his head on his shoulders, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I dig the eccentricity. And, um, you know, overall, I think it's a really interesting way to take the character. And again, he's originally was the more cautious, like, he was the, um, that voice that probably told everybody that when it was time to hold back and stuff, but, um, yeah. This more eccentric Horan seems to work pretty well. Oddly enough, it's Allura that really feels like they took the, uh, original character to heart. I mean, she's just as stubborn, just as, uh, willing to get into the fray and help the team out as the original. Um, never been the character who was content to be uh, the protected princess type, so I'm glad that uh, they're making her just as uh, strong as uh, she was in the original series. I mean, stronger in fact. Um, we go, and <laughs> both in a character and literal sense. I mean, she broke down a door and flattened a Galra soldier with it. <laughs> she has some serious muscle and hides it pretty well. I mean, that and her chameleon tech, that's going to be, uh, I think that's going to really make her interesting going forward because uh, she's definitely not someone who needs to be protected all the time. But I'm getting 
but I'm not done yet. It, now it's time to look at the bad guys. And, you know, Yorak, or Sendak as he's now called, was quite interesting. Um, lasted a little bit longer than the original. Well, maybe not. I, I haven't quite uh, done an episode count on that. And it's been a while since I've seen the original series. But um, he's definitely a little more interesting in this uh, iteration. And I'm glad that they really tried to develop the villains a little more. Although uh, some of the other commanders uh, don't seem quite as developed. Uh, the commander after um, after Sendak uh, got captured um, didn't quite seem to be interesting as Sendak was. I, I think they just wanted to shift more into Hagar. And <laughs> they did a good job with her. Hagar was always my favorite villains of the um, original series. Um, and this one doesn't seem to be quite as witty, but um, I don't know if we've seen enough to really uh, get that uh, vibe off her yet, but uh, she definitely has that Wicked Witch feel that pretty much um, really makes Hagar something special. So. Because I always thought Hagar probably could take out Zed or Rita or Divatox or any of the Power Ranger villains. She'd probably scoff at them all and beat them down easy. I don't think any of the Power Rangers could take Hagar out. <laughs> yeah, you need Voltron for that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Hagar's really going to be something special in this series and I really hope they do well with her. And um, on to Zarkon himself. Oh boy did he get an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, King Zarkon on the old, old series, um, you know, he was more of the brains of the outfit. He definitely um, knew what he wanted. He knew how to organize his troops. Um, and I, but this one is that and a serious powerhouse to boot. I mean, he literally went on a, took on the Red Lion and Keith head on, held his own, and actually was beating the Red Lion. I mean, and this isn't like a super gigantic Zarkon. This is normal human-sized Zarkon beating up this gigantic lion. Now, that, that is... That is impressive. Okay, I mean, Zarkon's going to be a serious threat in his own right. They don't even need to make him a robeast this time. Eh, that... Is, I mean, if they do... Oh, look out. That's going to be epic. But, man... They really went out of the way to make the bad guys seem intimidating. I mean, there are some uh, levels of the uh, classic uh, dummy bad guy here and there, but uh, uh, Zarkon and Hagar really are the intimidating ones. And that's going to be something special. I mean, that this... I mean, the series ended in, like, this, um, season ended in a cliffhanger. I can't wait for season two. What's going on with my focus again? I don't know why this autofocus doesn't seem to want to stay locked in. Maybe I'm just moving around too much. Can't help it, but... Yeah, I mean, the season was great. Um, a lot of good moments, a lot of good character development for all of them. Um, I really like the episodes with the Balra. Uh, I thought those were great development episodes for Hunk. It also um, really showed how the team can work together when they actually try to. I mean the uh, training episode, like the second episode, that was really cool. I mean seeing how these guys really 
couldn't get along at first and <laughs> took a food fight of all things to actually get them to sync up. <laughs> that was awesome. And, and it, all in all, I really did enjoy the series, uh, like this first season. And I do want to see season two. I can't wait for it. Hopefully they'll bring it out soon. But I've rambled enough. So, um, you know, um, you know, if you like this, uh, leave a comment. Uh, you know, if you want me to answer some questions next time around, uh, leave them below. Um, I'll, I'll look it over. I'll see about writing them down. Hopefully I'll remember to actually do that. Give me a little break. I'm still new to this vlog thing. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, you know, leave the comments, leave questions in the comments, leave a like, uh, subscribe to see more videos, and um, I'll see you next time. So, goodbye out there. <laughs>